Hello, my name is Branko Raonic. I am from Belgrade, Serbia, and I'm interested in electronic music production. Today's theme will be microphones, how and why they are used, how they are constructed, types, specifications. Uh, microphones. Microphone is the uh, first part in audio chain for recording sound sources, uh, for converting acoustic energy to electric energy, which can then be uh, amplified or recorded. The ears of the studio, the color in the uh, recording engineer's palette that he carefully choose, chooses for highlighting the sound. Uh, depends on how it's constructed, uh, depends on uh, applications they are used in, there are many categories, uh, depends on principles of working. Be careful when buying a microphone to choose the correct type for recording. For example, if you're recording vocalists, then choose condenser, microphone with large, medium to large diaphragm. Uh, this is Rode MT1A. Uh, are you concentrated on major types uh, you can found in today's studios dynamic, condenser, and ribbon mics. Uh, dynamic mic is widely used on stage in studio as well. Uh, it, uh, he has he has transducer, he has a moving coil that is connected to the magnet, diaphragm connected to, uh, to the coil, connected to the Magnet, diaphragm, vibrates, creates currency later, can be amplified or recorded. Uh, dynamic microphones, uh, pay attention to frequency range of the microphone, for, uh, to sensitivity of the microphone, uh, polar pattern, impedance and uh, cable length if you're buying an uh, older uh, ribbon microphone. Pay attention to dynamic range. And microphone accessories like pop shields, protective grills, and etc. Dynamic microphone uh, has peak presence around 1 to 4 kilohertz. Uh, condenser microphone 8 to 12 kilohertz. That means uh, that means he's uh, more open. He catch uh, much detail, more details than the dynamic one. It's widely used for recording vocals and instruments in studio and environment. Many recording engineers start with Omni, color pattern, uh, Omni or, or figure 8, because uh, diaphragm, uh, two plates, diaphragm is here. So, uh, then, then, uh, then move to cardioid maybe. Uh, frequency range is how microphone responds to different sounds. Uh, did he, uh, Emphasize some frequencies. The, uh, maybe it's flat. Maybe maybe uh, maybe with attenuation in some frequencies. Dynamic range of uh, dynamic microphone is slightly slightly uh, it's slightly dipped in after 10k, after 8k, 10 to 10, because its uh, mainly purpose is for the, uh, this one uh, D7 is for recording vocals. Uh, so. Uh, has protective grill for rejecting the noise from the speakers. It's cardioid pattern, so it rejects the noise from the monitors on stage when uh, singer is singing. It's very important. This is for recording vocals in studio. It has a peak presence eight to twelve. That means more sparkle, more brilliance, more hissism. Ribbon mics are also very, also very popular in the recording industry. For uh, the greatest engineers is, uh, are using them. Because of the sweetness of the sound, peak presence, uh, emphasize is uh, peak or pre peak presence or peak resonance is uh, above, uh, under, under uh, 300 hertz. Very, very, uh, very, very sweet sound. Uh, very important uh, uh, one thing that you must consider, consider is uh, how it's charged. Uh, Dynamic microphone not, don't need external power, but condenser and ribbon. But condenser needs 48 DC current power. Uh, it can be switched on on the on the mixer console, maybe on some uh, preamps, maybe on interface, or something like that. 
My point is, when you choosing a microphone, carefully chooses the power pattern, uh, frequency range, sensitivity, impedance and length of the cable, dynamic range especially, and first of all, listen, listen, listen how it sounds, it is, uh, maybe the frequency response, power pattern, how it catches uh, the air from different directions, maybe it's cardioid, like he, this one, or maybe it's figure 8 in some cases, maybe it's omni, maybe it is, uh, yes, uh, carefully, carefully choose, uh, show, uh, uh, listen and watch frequency response, frequency response curve, uh, the diagram, maybe, it's, maybe it is uh, designed especially for some instruments, you don't want to record voice with the uh, microphone designed for saxophone, for example, uh, with smaller, with smaller membrane, very small. Uh, first of all, listen, then carefully see uh, diagram, frequency diagram, choose the, choose the polar pattern, position the microphone in the room that is very good acoustically, and with very good performer. Thank you for watching this video. I, I hope I help you decide which is your first choice for recording sensors. Thank you very much.